How to create sticker outline in Canva. Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to create sticker outline in Canva. This is a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And now let's get right into it. So, by the way, before we get started, one thing that you need to know is that this tutorial is only available for Canva Pro users, as for the features are only applicable to Canva Pro. So, now let's get started. First thing that we need to do is that we're going to choose a blank page. As for me, I chose the Facebook post um, size. And right here, we have our blank page already, or our untitled design page. Now, next thing that we need to do is that you can actually look for stickers if you would want to make use of the stickers here in Canva. However, as for me, I am going to first use a photo of my own or like a downloaded photo that I would want to create a sticker of. So here are some of the example stickers here at Canva, by the way. So you can choose from those stickers and you can make an outline of them at the end of this video. Alright, now that we're done checking on the example stickers, let's get started and let's start with the upload section here in the left hand side. I'm going to drag the picture that I would want to make a sticker of. Now we have it right here. Next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to simply double tap on the picture and reposition it accordingly. Next is that in the upper corner, you can actually see edit photo. Click on that one. And then you just need to go to your tools and remove the background using your background remover. Again, this is only applicable to Canva Pro users. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a page. And in this page, we're going to add a um, color. So here, we're going to download the first photo that we have removed the background and make sure that we are using the PNG or JPEG style. Make sure that you also tick on transparent background. And there you have it. Now it's saving up. Next thing that we need to do is to go back to our upload section and upload the file that we have downloaded. Alright, so... Make sure that you only upload the first photo and not the second page. There you have it. And now that the photo has been downloaded, let's upload it on our Canva file or account. So here in the upload section, what we are going to do is to upload the file. And afterwards, we're gonna select the photo. There. As you can see, the background of the photo has gone already. So, let's click on it. And there, we have our sticker ready. So, next thing is we're going to resize the photo according to our liking. Now, next thing that we are going to do is we're going to edit the photo and then we are going to go to the left hand side and go to the effects section. You could also add some filters if you would want to. So as for me, I would like to have this candy effect on my sticker. There you have it. Now, let's go back and let's go to our main agenda, which is the shadow section. So you, there are actually two options and I'm going to show you those two options. So first is you can use the glow. Uh, make sure that the size is up to the hundredth. Uh, you could also increase the angle if you would like to and intensity should also be up to 100 now for the color you just need to uh, go to the white color and there you have it so you already have your sticker outline now however if you're not satisfied with this kind of outline and you would like to have your sticker more outline what i can suggest is that we can go and use another shadow effect. So you just need to tap on the photo again. Right there. And we are going to click on edit photo in your menu bar above. Now, 
let's go to our shadows and there you can actually see outline for the outline just do the same thing for the size you just need to have it up to 100 and also for the intensity it should be up to 100 so as you can see there's the difference it's more outline than the glow effect okay now let me show you how we can create a sticker in canva on our own this time and we're going to outline it at the same time as well so as you can see we have our sample stickers what we're going to do is that we're going to choose elements that we would want to add onto our photo say for example i want to add this circle right here so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a text so for the text i'm going to choose a preset um text that we have right here so say for instance we have this one now i'm just gonna redo all the writings and backspace delete everything right here all right once everything has been deleted i'm going to simply um add the coat or the words that i would want to add onto my text so say for instance nothing is impossible now let's resize it and after resizing what we can do next is that we can go to the effect section in the menu bar of our text here and then i'm going to make it curved all right and let's make it less curvy so to do so we just need to scroll down in the left hand side we can also reduce the font there and just simply reposition it there you have it all right now if you want to resize it then just simply reduce the size if you would want to as well okay there now if you want to do the same thing below you could actually duplicate this one and then after you're duplicating we can actually redo the position there so once it, everything has been repositioned we can simply move on to the next process okay there you have it so we really need to be careful in this process now next thing that i'm going to do is that i am going to go to the element section and i'm going to add one more element that fits into my circle so here i'm going to add a jumping person okay now once we have added the jumping person let's simply uh, click on it and let's reposition it there so this is not a jumping person but rather it shows that everything is you know breaking free nothing's impossible and likes so it still coincides with our sticker design now next thing that we're going to do is we're going to download this photo and make sure that we also tick on the transparent background all right now once we have downloaded the photo let's upload it once again let's add another page as well so in this other page let's simply um, add the photo with a transparent background here you have it there so click on the photo or you can drag the photo and put it into the blank page there so what we're going to do next is we're going to resize it and then afterwards we can simply go to the edit photo section above so unlike the pre-save photo that we have we don't need to use the background remover anymore we just need to simply um, download it right away and continue with the shadow section there so again i'm gonna make use of the outline shadow and 
Also, make sure that the size and intensity is up to 100. And basically, that's about it for today's video guys. I hope that you find this video interesting and thank you so much for watching.